Hello, everyone. This is uh, Dr. Cui. So in this topic, I'm going to um, tell you how to prepare for the interview. So, <clears throat> so in order to to get a good in order to get a good performance during the interview, you have to prepare in advance. Uh, I, I would suggest at least one month before the before the ERAS open, like in the August. Uh, you need to. Uh, prepare for it. Um, so definitely, you need to create your own answers, because uh, every answer you uh, un uh, you, you you will tell the interviewer must be related to your own stories. You have to find a better way um, to incorporate those uh, stories into your answers, and uh, and th this will take time. So that's why I suggest you prepare in advance. You definitely need some time to think about how to uh, answer those questions appropriately and uh, by using your own stories and uh, how to avoid uh, uh, avoid those traps they are going to ask you. So um, just think about it and uh, think you are the interviewer and how do you uh, uh, ask their questions? How do you expect it, expect the, uh, the interviewee answer your questions? So just uh, think about it. And also, also definitely you need to practice every day. Practice, practice, practice makes perfect, but uh, with the cor uh, correct directions. If you practice in the wrong direction, you would definitely, uh, you, won't, you definitely would uh, uh, screw up the, the, the interview. So uh, just, uh, just uh, uh, ask some people in, uh, who have already matched uh, and, and the residency program. So for some su suggestions, probably you can get some idea about that. And also join groups in order to uh, practice in the real uh, situation. Mm. And don't be afraid, uh, don't be afraid to be questioned in order. Um, so definitely uh, during the real interview, you cannot expect that everything goes well. Somebody will question you for sure. So you need to have a strong heart. You need to increase your mental strength in order to you know, handle those uh, situations. So just to be strong, but it still takes time. You need to uh, take uh, practice. Uh, <clears throat> you need to get used to that kind of situation. So, uh, I would say that uh, um, just a practice. And also be pre prepared for the questions you never prepared for. So you cannot uh, expect all of these questions so you, you can uh, very well prepare them. We definitely ask you some questions you didn't, you don't expect to, uh, to ask, uh, to, uh, to answer or to uh, be asked. For example, some interviewer will ask you, uh, imagine you are an animal, what kind of animal you want to be. So you have to think about it and uh, why they ask you about this. And you cannot just uh, tell them, uh, give them an answer randomly. You need to think about it and uh, uh, think of, uh, about an animal that can our story can reflect your own personality or uh, characters that suit uh, that suit their programs. So I think uh, so that's a key. So as I mentioned, always add a refresh, reflection in each story. You cannot just tell them a story without uh, uh, any other information. Um, um, for example, you tell when the interviewer asks you, uh, a touching story. You can tell them uh, your own stories, and after that, uh, you let them know that uh, what do you learn from this story. So, for example, you learn from the compassionate, compassionate, and uh, you learned how to uh, you learned how to take care of the patient, uh, um, uh, and also also you learned that uh, patient safety comes first. So always add those reflection at the end of the story. Um, so th that would be a good answer. Mm, so th th those are all the notes I can uh, think about uh, for now. So hope you will do well in your interview. Good luck.